African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the special military operation on the 29th of April 2023. In the evening of April 28, 2023, the armed forces of the Russian Federation launched a naval long-range precision-guided strike on the location of the command post of the Kherson Combined Force Grouping of Armed Forces of Ukraine. The purpose of the strike has been achieved. In Kupansk direction, operational tactical and army aviation and artillery of the Zapad group of forces inflicted fire damage on the units of the armed forces of Ukraine close to Kamenka, Kislovka, Kharkov region, and Stelmakovka, Lugansk People's Republic. For sabotage and reconnaissance groups of the armed forces of Ukraine has been disabled close to Ardyomovka, Timkovka, Simkovka, and Kotlyarovka. Up to 70 Ukrainian troops, five armored fighting vehicles, one ammunition vehicle, two pickup trucks, and one D-20 howitzer have been neutralized. In Krasny Lyman direction, operational tactical aviation and artillery of the Tsenter group of forces engaged the units of the armed forces of Ukraine close to Ostrovskoy, Lugansk People's Republic, and Torskoy, Serebryanka, Grigorovka, and Terny, Donetsk People's Republic. Up to 75 Ukrainian personnel, two armored fighting vehicles, three motor vehicles, and two D-20 and D-30 howitzers. In Donetsk direction, the assault detachments continue intensive fighting in the west outskirts of the city of Artyomovsk. Russia's airborne troops have been supporting the assault detachments. Operational tactical and army aviation, artillery, and heavy flamethrowers of the U group of forces have foiled enemies' attempts to counterattack from the areas of Chesov Yar, Kalinina, and Krasnoy, Donetsk People's Republic. The Russian aviation have made seven sorties in this area during the day. The artillery of the U group of forces have performed 58 firing missions. The enemy losses in this direction amounted to over 575 Ukrainian troops and mercenaries, two tanks, three infantry fighting vehicles, two armored fighting vehicles, 12 motor vehicles, two Akatsiya and Gvozdika self-propelled howitzers, one D-30 howitzer, and two U.S. and slash TPQ-50 counter-mortar radar. In South Donetsk and Zaporizhzhi directions, aviation and artillery of the Vostok group of forces inflicted fire damage on the armed forces of Ukraine units close to Uglodar, Novopol, and Uspanovka, Donetsk People's Republic. One sabotage and reconnaissance group of the armed forces of Ukraine has been disabled close to Novomirskoy, Donetsk People's Republic. Over 85 Ukrainian troops, one tank, two armored fighting vehicles, three pickup trucks, and two D-20 and D-30 howitzers have been neutralized in these directions during the day. Moreover, ammunition depots of the 72nd Mechanized Brigade and 110th Territorial Defense Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces have been destroyed close to Shokhtorskoy and Uspanovka, Donetsk People's Republic. In Kherson direction, up to 20 Ukrainian servicemen, two motor vehicles, and one D-30 howitzer have been neutralized by fire. Operational tactical and army aviation, missile troops, and artillery of the Russian group of forces have engaged 92 armed forces of Ukraine artillery units, manpower, and hardware in 126 areas during the day. Air defense facilities have shot down one Mi-8 helicopter of Ukrainian Air Force near Regorodka, Lugansk People's Republic. In addition, for Mars projectiles have been intercepted. Moreover, 14 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles have been down close to Kotlyarovka, Tokarevka, Kharkov region, Krimineya, Novodrusk, Abaratnovka, Lugansk People's Republic, Kirilovka, and Slavnoy, Donetsk People's Republic. In total, 413 airplanes and 230 helicopters, 3,901 unmanned aerial vehicles, 421 air defense missile systems, 8,904 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 1,095 combat vehicles equipped with MLRS, 4,688 field artillery cannons and mortars, 
as well as 9,843 units of special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.